Okay, I'm going to continue reading the one and only Ivan. We are on chapter Wondering. All night I lie awake wondering about Ruby. Has she already walked through the door like the one I'm facing? Was she as scared as I am? Scared the way she must have been the day she fell in the hole? I think of Ruby's endless curiosity and the questions she loved to ask. Have you ever danced with a tiger, Ivan? Will your fur turn blue? Why doesn't a little boy have a tail? If Ruby were here with me, she'd be asking, what's on the other side of the door, Ivan? Ruby would want to know, and she would have been through the door by now. Want to try again, Ivan? Maya asks. I think of Ruby and I tell myself, it's time. The door opens. Outside at last. Sky. Grass. Tree. Ant. Stick. Bird. Dirt. Cloud. Wind. Flower. Rock. Rain. Penny, no, no. Mine, mine, mine. I sniff, approach, strut a bit, but there's others that don't welcome me. They have sharp teeth and loud voices. Did I say something wrong? Kenyana chases me. She throws a stick at me. She corners me. I know that she's testing me to see if I'm a true silverback, one who can protect her family. I cower and hide my eyes. Maya lets me back into my cage. I lie awake and try to remember what it's like being a gorilla. How do we move? How do we touch? How do we know who's the boss? I try to think past the babies and the motorbikes and the popcorn and the short pants. I try to imagine Ivan as he must have been. The juvenile male approaches. He's eyeing my food hungrily. I imagine a different Ivan, my father's son. I grumble and swat and swagger. I beat my chest till the whole world hears. Kinyani watches and so do the others. I move towards the young upstart and he retreats. Almost as if he believes I'm a silverback that I'm pretending to be. I'm making a nest on the ground. It isn't a true jungle nest. The leaves are inferior and the sticks are brittle. They snap when I weave them into a pile. To the others, they watch, grunting their disapproval. Too small, too, flim too flimsy, an ugly thing to see. But when I climb into a leafy cradle, it's like floating on top of mist. Maya wants me to go back into my glass cage, I can tell, because she is tempting me towards the door with a trail of tiny marshmallows. I try to ignore her. I don't want to leave the outside. It's a cloudless day, and I found just the right spot for a nap. But I relent when she adds yogurt raisins to the trail. She knows my weakness too well. In the glass cage, the TV is on. It's another nature show, jerky and unfocused. I expect to see gorillas, but none appear. I hear a shrill sound like a toy trumpet. My heart quickens. I rush close to the screen and there she is, Ruby. She's rolling in a lovely pool of mud with two other young elephants. Another elephant approaches. She towers over Ruby. She strokes Ruby and nudges her. She makes soft noises. They stand side by side, just the way Stella and Ruby used to. Their trunks intertwine. I see something new in Ruby's eyes, and I know what it is. It's joy. I watch the world, or I watch the whole thing, and then Maya plays it again for me, and again. At last, she turns off the TV and carries it out of the cage. I put my hands into the glass. Maya looks over. Thank you, I tried to say with my eyes. Thank you. Kinyani ambles towards me. She taps me on her shoulder and Knuckles runs away. I watch her, arms crossed over my chest. I'm careful not to make a sound. I'm not sure what we're doing. She ambles back, shoves at me, dashes past. And then I realize what's happening. We're playing. We're playing tag. And I'm it. Make eye contact, show your form, strut, grunt, throw a stick, grunt some more, make some moves. Romance is hard work. It looks so easy on TV. I'm not sure I will ever get the hang of it. I wish Bob were here. I could use some advice. I tried to recall all the romance movies we watched together. I remember the talking, the hugging, and the face looking. I'm not very good at this, but it's fun to try. Is there anything sweeter than the touch of another as she pulls the dead bug from your fur? That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost done. Thank you for listening.